Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming, first of all. Uh, my name is Christian Martin. I'm in charge of marketing for Triotech. Uh, I've met uh, a lot of you this morning earlier. Uh, we are hosting you today in collaboration with IAPA and AAE. Before we begin, I'd like to take the opportunity to, uh, to thank our uh, distinguished guests. Uh, Mr. Nolan is here. Uh, Mr. Hale I saw earlier there. Uh, and we had the, the minister that was here. So it's a great honor for us to, to have you here and we want to thank you very much. We truly, truly appreciate your support. Um, before we be, uh, after the presentation for the media will be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews. Uh, we have a USB key with the materials that will be presented and the press release. If you didn't get it, come and seek me after. Without further delay, I'll introduce the president of C and CEO of Triotech, Mr. Ernest Yale. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, thank you all for coming. I am thrilled to be here uh, with our colleagues to share this news uh, to you. Um, we are very proud to announce that Triatech has been selected uh, to do not one but two uh, attractions uh, at the Jeju Shinwa World um, Park in, uh, on Jeju Island in South Korea. Uh, I really like Jeju Island. I've been there two or three times, did some diving. It's a really uh, incredible uh, resort island in the south of Korea. So uh, I think for them it's going to be a, a, new, uh, a new attraction, I mean something very interesting. Uh, there's some obviously entertainment aspects and there's some cultural aspects. So as you can imagine a company from Canada working with uh, Koreans to develop uh, something about the history of Korea, uh, in a sense it was very interesting because we had to understand you know, the writing, uh, the culture and, and we gave them a perspective, an external perspective on uh, on their own culture. So it's going to be uh, something quite uh, unique and different for us. Um, so as you know, uh, Triatech is an integrated company and therefore our scope of work on these two projects go from design to development to implementation and commissioning. It's very important for me as a founder of Triatech, we're now more than 200 people in the organization that um, we really are in charge of the integration. When you develop an attraction, it's not only the vehicle, not only what's on screen, the interactivity, the story, the images, the 3D. It's really what links all together. The important thing for the customer, for the end user, is the user experience. We need to make sure that this attraction is great, that when they do the attraction, that they really enjoy it. So uh, by integrating it and in-house at Triatech, I think we can deliver a great attraction. Speaking of the components, uh, let's talk about it. All the animation has been developed in Montreal in our studio, Montreal, Canada. It's all 3D, it's using video game technology, and it's very interesting because of the characters. As you know, the characters are, are very uh, interesting. So the series is called Larva. It's developed uh, in South Korea. Uh, it's a computer animated comedy television series made by Tubin Entertainment in Seoul, South Korea. The cartoon series features two larvae named Red and Yellow. I'll let you guess which one is which. And um, Larva was launched by Tuba Entertainment in 2011. So it, has, uh, it had a very uh, quick growth around the world. It's already shown in more than 40 countries for a series that's five uh, or six years uh, old. So that's very impressive and we're very happy to work with them. Um, I'll have a pleasure now to show you for the first time in public some of the characters. So this is the world's first that will be uh, in the attractions. So two attractions, uh, some of the sets and the ride will use these characters. So let's, let's look at the video.
Wow, these are very uh, fun characters. As you can see, uh, larva, uh, red and yellow, they're kind of like, you don't need even to understand. I mean, they're, um, they, they don't talk. It's just about noise, and anyone can understand the appeal of these characters. So the two attractions that we're developing, there's an interactive dark ride that will feature fully team ride vehicles. So the ride vehicles will look uh, like part of uh, what's happening in a series. Uh, red and yellow will be the gu your guiding guests to a whirlwind tour that will take you to some surprising and iconic sites. In the walkthrough, a walkthrough experience is an experience where you walk from room to room and you will interact with different technologies, different scenes using projections, computer animated software. Uh, the walkthrough experience, the guests will be guided on a time traveling journey f featuring key moments in the history of both mankind and South Korea itself. It will therefore be a blend of entertainment and history with a cultural twist. Uh, we had uh, as a guest Mr. Rodney Johns from uh, Jeju Shinwa World this morning, but I think unfortunately his flight was delayed, so he's not here. Uh, but I'll um, reintroduce my friend uh, Christian, who will talk about uh, more about the attraction itself. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Ernest. Uh, so yes, I am not Rodney Jones. I cannot do the Australian accent anyway. Uh, but let me tell you a little bit about the park, uh, Jeju Shinwa World. Um, it's, uh, sorry, in, set in Jeju. It's on, currently under construction and will open uh, later in uh, 2017. And Larva Adventure, uh, Adventure Village will be one of the seven lands in the park. Um, and uh, the, the park will contain seven distinct uh, zones. It's 280,000 square meters. And it will uh, take uh, the visitors through myths and ancient uh, stories and exploration. Uh, so there will be a cultural side to it as well as an entertainment side to it. There will be immersive environments, magical rides, cultural exhibits, and live performances, as we know that uh, we can do it in our, in our world of theme parks. Uh, one key point is this IP that's a local, uh, locally developed IP uh, that's very popular, as Ernest said, in 40 country. And for this, for the park, um, it's me saying it, but I'm really uh, repeating the words of, of Rane. It was very important for them to, to take a very strong IP, but also a unique IP that will dif di differentiate the park from, uh, from other offerings and from other parks. Um, we'll be pleased to answer more questions after, obviously. Um, at this point, uh, this concludes the presentation. I want to thank Ernest. I want to thank, again, the IAPA executive and all the members of the press. Again, if you've not received the USB key, we'll, uh, come and see me and we will uh, give it to you. If you have uh, questions, I'm available. Ernest is available. Uh, Mr. Gabby Salabi, our Vice President of Business Development, is available. Uh, to answer your questions. Thank you very much, everybody. Sorry, uh, you're welcome, obviously, to try our uh, XD Dark Ride Interactive Theaters. If you have not tried it, it's uh, uh, IAPA Brass Ring Award winner ride, so uh, it's very good. And of course, the flyer which we introduced at IAPA that will uh, be going to San Francisco. Uh, we'll, you're welcome to try also, obviously, today or any time during the week. Thank you.